Welcome to the SOL Perspective Show. Today we've got a uh, very juicy uh, share from one of the sisters that's in need of help. Uh, let me share the story so we can get crack straight into this. Um, basically, it's a twin flame situation that's go going on, uh, and the, the her twin flame, the guy that she's referring to, um, it's been 19 to 20 years since she's seen him. She was told that he died. Um, she found out on Facebook that he's still alive. They've got back together since May, and uh, they've hit it off. They've, uh, you know, really, <laughs> you know, hit it off where they left off, so things are quite steamy. But the situation has come that he's actually cohabited with his apparent ex for the sake of the children and uh, she the ex has found out that uh, there's been conversations between her and him and she's obviously um, jumped in between and divided them uh, naturally she says in her own words i'm natural i'm completely heartbroken because he's unhappy with his life situation and wants to be with me Recently, recent days he stopped communicating because I gave him an ultimatum to let him know where him and me stand future wise because the situation wasn't fair to anyone. I'm struggling in a huge way emotionally and can't stop crying. I've hung out with my friends to just be and self heal. I've cried and felt into the hurt of the past that wasn't addressed as well as healing the present situation. I felt low before, but this time it's hit me like a ton of bricks, and at moments I felt suicidal. I've always helped myself by turning to people to advice and guidance over the years to get through life's challenges, and I've survived and learned and come out stronger. But this situation is breaking me, and wow, I don't know what else to try other than what I've been doing. I'll leave you with that one. So, first up, just recognise that uh, the thoughts of uh, suicide are just thoughts. It's it's not the truth. It's uh, it's just perspective on. Well, sorry, not perspective. It's motivation for you to be like, okay, I'm at the fork in the road, and the, to the left is. Uh, it all ends, and to the right is my hope to bring myself back, but not only bring myself back, but come back stronger. So, I have been at that fork in the road myself, so uh, <clears throat> just know that what I say in this perspective is coming from experience, and more importantly, I actually really care for you, so uh, this is the best I'm going to give you. You've done the right thing with the ultimatum, I think, um, you know, it's his decision if he wants to stay with his ex for the kids. Just, just a quick side note, that's obviously not the right thing to do. Those kids are going to grow up uh, looking at a couple that don't love each other and think that that's what couples are like. So they're not setting a good example of uh, what a couple looks like. But anyway, that's his decision. Okay, and you've given your heart to him and he obviously he's got something there for you. But he still decided that it's better that for the kids he stays with that family that he's got there. So that's it. That chapter is done. That book is done for the moment. Okay, you could, the, things can always change. Uh, there can always be another chapter written. But that doesn't matter now because you're at the fork in the road and it's either left, it's going to end, and right... I'm going to get stronger. There's not another option of, like, I'll just wait for him until he changes his mind. That's not an option at all. That's, you've given that ultimatum. That, that's done. You've, you've given that, presented that option, and that road closed. He's, he's closed it himself. So how do, you get, how do you get stronger? How do you choose the right path, literally? You, there's, there's a lesson here. Okay, now I'll just share what my lesson was for when I had suicidal thoughts, just so that you can see what needs to be done in your half. So, when you have thoughts of suicide, <clears throat> you know, it's tough to talk about, but 
you really have to do a very quick analysis of, okay, what the F needs to be done, okay? Like literally analyze, okay, where am I fucking up? What, what do I need to do to bring my life together? So for me, I had to back off going to the gym. For me, I had to learn how to enjoy my company on my own. For me, I had to stop looking for out external things to fulfill me and to make my calendar busy so I didn't feel lonely, okay? So I had I clicked, I quickly going, okay, Shane, you're constantly needing not to be on your own. You hate being on your own. You, that's what makes it worse. And you, and you feel depressed when you're on your own, blah, 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 blah. You need to fix that. Bang. So I jumped on it, stopped going to the gym like a maniac. I just got over that addiction and I lit, you, it's, a, it's a mindset shift. You have to analyze which part of your life is gearing you towards addiction that's distracting you from what needs to be done, okay? What needs to be done for me is you, you need to start to really get to know who you really are, okay? Heartbreak is horrible. It's terrible, but it also gives you an opportunity now to get clear, to get clear and to create who you should be instead of dwelling on this, okay? It's not a great situation. You've, you've found something that you loved and it's been taken away from you. It's tough. It is tough. Cry and express whatever that feels for you and, 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 and just get it out. But if it sounds like there's, no, there's not enough tears that's going to get that away, you you now physically have to change your mindset. You have to change everything you're doing in your life. You have to shake up. You have to create somebody new. That's that's the bottom line. Because if you stay and try and feel your emotions and try and express these emotions, and you said you're doing everything you can, but nothing's working, that's because it's that you need to to chat. You have to create completely radically change. So all your habits, all your decisions, all your thoughts, you have to radically, completely revolutionize it all. So what do you do? I would make it the journal out, 100%. This is do or die for the journal. You get the journal out and you start making a list of what do you need to improve? What parts of your whole human experience do you need to improve? Your mind. How are your thoughts? Be objective and honest. How are your thoughts? Are they negative, positive, in between? Really analyze, okay, how are my thoughts? Write it down. Your body, how's your health physically? Are you in good shape? Do you have good energy? Do you feel like you're just hormonally happy? Your soul, how connected are you? How, how comfortable are you in peace and silence? And how connected and grounded and peaceful and tranquil do you feel? Not so good or great? Write it down. And then your spirit, how passionate for life are you? Outside of this twin flame connection that you've got, which is obviously a passion of 10, I'm talking a passion of going to work, a passion of looking at the weekend with what you do with your time on the weekend. How passionate are you for that life? Give yourself a rating out of 1 to 10 and, and write specifics. Okay, I'm not that positive or I'm not that healthy. Whatever it is, you come up and you do a, criti a critical analysis of your life. You're giving yourself an objective analysis of where you're at on all those four quadrants. Go to the lowest one if you don't feel connected enough. If you feel that's your, your worst uh, kind of, you know, that's what scored the least on your checklist, start working on getting that to a 10. So if you need to find more passion in your life, start picking up hobbies that you like, whether it's knitting, whether it's playing the guitar, whether it's singing and dancing. You have to change get you out of your head and into your body and the best way to do that is to pick a passion and a hobby that you loved when you were 16 that you haven't done for 30 40 years because you're just too busy pick that back up and that'll pick up your your uh, passion for life if you're not that connected and you don't feel grounded and you don't feel peaceful which I'm, I'm guessing you wouldn't Go and find some meditation practice that you love, whether it be just contemplation, whether it be listening to a song, whether it be just looking at it at the clouds, whether it's going to nature and just listening to the birds. 
doesn't matter. Just find something that feels comfortable, that feels right. Maybe listen to a guided meditation on YouTube. There's no rules. Just find something that allows you to just quieten the mind, get out of here and into your body. If you're physically not healthy, if you don't feel like you've got enough energy, if you don't feel vibrant, you don't feel happy, just you're just not you're run down and fatigued. Find a nutrition plan that's going to support you. Find an exercise plan that's not going to burn you out, but that's going to help you, give you energy. So two to three times a week, everybody should be doing something that's huffing and puffing and getting the blood flow circulating at an intense rate. Then walk every other day or do yoga, do some kind of stretching, do some yin exercises as well. Then for your mind... Pick a book and read it. Then pick another one and read that. That is how you train your mind because the mind is also, reading is also a meditation. Reading will also not only help you focus and concentrate and be present, but it's also going to start to give you tools and, and, and frameworks and mindset uh, techniques to, to make you think a different way. The way you're thinking is creating the suicidal thoughts. The way you're thinking is crea creating the scenario you're in right now. You have to get influence. You have to get other people's perspective. So reading is going to make you train your mind and that will eventually make you more positive. That will give you the awareness to be like, oh shit, I'm in my head now for the last three hours. I've been thinking about this. I need to get out of my head. What do I need to do? Okay, bang, I need to do that. This is self-management. This is pretty much, <laughs> you're, you're literally at a point where you need to roll up the sleeves literally and really diagnose what you need to do to get better and use those four pillars that I gave you, the mind, body, soul, spirit, and start to do things. You have to do habits. You have to make decisions. You have to do rituals each day that are going to take you out of here and into the moment. And as you do that day by day, you start to find yourself. You start to figure out, oh, okay, I really do enjoy my singing and dancing like I did when I was 16. Oh, I did that for half an hour today and I've completely forgot about my twin flame situation. This is it. You, 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 you know if you don't do any of this stuff, you're going to remain where you are and be very miserable. The, the only way to get out of this rock bottom is you literally have to make a shift in your mind and say, enough is enough. I need to take action today. I need to improve my health today. I need to start reading. I need to start meditating or journaling. I need to start doing hobbies that make me happy. You need to do that. That is it. That is the only way that you, you're, you're going to get out of this hole. Master those four quadrants and you'll find other doorways that you need to walk through. In six months' time, then look back on this situation and maybe will, I'll give you another video, another perspective and see what lessons you need to learn from this situation. But at the moment, there's no point trying to figure out what you need to learn from this situation. You need to get out of it. You're too deep. You're too far. At the, you're in the pit of this situation. You can't get perspective on what you need to learn at the moment because that's just going to keep you there. It's going to keep you attached to the whole scenario. You need to make yourself the priority and completely change your whole routine and habits and lifestyle completely. You have to radically shift it all. That is the only way. Then in four weeks, four months or whatever, we, we do another one of these. We'll go round two and see how we can progress then. Keep in touch with me, message me, let's get through this.